Hello and welcome back everyone to uh, Super Mario World on Rocket Rabbit Commentaries for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And in this episode, we'll be showing off uh, uh, another large segment of Vanilla Dome and I died in Switch Palace. God damn it. <laughs> you died on the first screen. Well, that, that, the Switch Palace only really has one screen. So, what uh, what you were supposed to do here is guide the Omni Shell all the way through all of the Koopas. Yay! Nice. Oh, right, because you can remote control the shell. Well, you're not controlling the shell, you're having it follow you. And then... Boom! Red Switch Palace uh, complete. Now we will have access to the red switches, which don't actually give you anything, but, you know, they will uh, work as additional platforms, and it will be, uh, it will grant uh, significantly safer passages through uh, later, uh, through uh, significantly later levels. It, you're supposed to use the red switch palace in order to get, in, uh, in order to get the, uh, in order to get the secret exit of, of Vanilla, Do uh, Vanilla Dome 1, uh, in order to get into the Star Road. But I didn't do that, so... Hmm, I do recall that there were some Red rather tantalizing blocks. platforms missing. So, we are back in Vanilla Dome 2 in order to attempt to get the normal exit. I unfortunately Whoa, have not way. skilled enough uh, uh, in Vanilla Dome 2 to actually get all the dragon coins, specifically because you actually need to go through the uh, the hidden route ex uh, exit pathway in order to get one of the dragon coins. And I'm like, I'm not backtracking all the way through this uh, this pathway for one dragon coin. No. Hmm. Pick and choose your rewards. Charging Chuck. Dang it. Hmm. So okay, this is uh, oh. so this level is uh, teaching us how the charging trucks actually interact with these uh, uh, with the uh, flip uh, blocks, and it is actually very important that Whoa. we know that for later. And they can jump. They can jump, although their jumping is not usually all that uh, relevant. You say that, and then bring in a. Uh, these guys are trying to bring it into the end zone on a pick six by jumping over the offensive lineman. Mm. Mario's not bulky enough to be an offensive lineman. No, well, I mean, not until he's had his mushroom. And there! Sweet! Normal exit for Vanilla Dome 2 complete. Nailed it. <sighs> Never gets old. The, superflu the superfluous sound effects in, in Mario World are awesome. Mm, Alright. Here we go into the Vanilla Dome Ghost House. This ghost house is one that I always forget uh, that I have problems with, but I do always have problems with this one, specifically because we are introduced here to not only the uh, carousel of, bo of booze, which is, you know, enough of a challenge, mostly because they make you wait in order to access all those treasures that they're guarding, but they are also uh, introduced to tracking booze, which, you know, uh, function uh, very famously, uh, 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 which end up um, having their movement patterns and uh, be carried over to most of the other Boo variants for the rest of the super, uh, for the rest of the Mario World games. While you are looking at them, they freeze. But while uh, while you are looking away from them, they chase you. Oh yeah, that's the point, Peekaboo. Yes. You can't see me. Yeah. No, you can't see me. It took me ages yeah, to figure me. out that you could actually spin jump on top of Boo's. And again, it, it actually only applies to specific boos. Uh, it will apply to large boo and small boo. I forget if it applies. Here is why this level is always a problem for me. These green multi-dimensional orbs. I, I have got a lot of fucking problems with these, specifically because sometimes they just don't work like they're supposed to. Ah. Right, and you then have we the ability to spin jump pet. off the top of them, and I feel like you can spin jump off of uh, off of their sides. You know, assume, assuming that you're approaching them from a vertical angle, but I get I take damage uh, from the green orbs a lot more often than I would like to admit. Get your mushroom. Watch out for the booze. Dang it. 
as I've mentioned before, uh, Mar uh, Mario is a little bit more slippery than I, uh, than, I, uh, than I'm comfortable with in this game. So, uh, whilst I'm going forward and I want to slow down, I tend to, you know, end up uh, colliding into enemies that I would or that I'm or that I'm attempting to avoid at the last moment. Get the coins, get the coins, run for your life, run for your life. Green orb. It looks like a lime. Oh, nice dive. No, thank you. And spin jump. Dang it! So, yeah, you should have waited a second. I attempted yep, to right, jump there, right. I did, but the control the controls are a bit uh, are a bit slippery for me. Uh, that all actually right, may be my from that the may be my uh, actual controller uh, screwing me over. It probably isn't, but it might be because you know I've had this particular controller for almost a full year now. Uh, although I hadn't had it for a full year by the time I was doing this recording. I'd only had uh, my controller for, like, uh, probably five months at the time of this recording. Allow the, allow the big boo to stare at you and then run away using the cape feather. Dang it! These freaking boos are adorable. Uh, some of them are adorable. Alright, here we are once again, multi-dimensional green orbs of doom. The most dangerous of the boo house rooms that we've encountered so far. Yes. Not surprisingly so. Okay, patience is rewarded. We do need this P-switch, though. Wait, no! Oh, yep, dang it! Because dang it, it Pass oh, it. Yep. <sighs> yeah, we tried. We've tried this map too many times. It's time to just get to the end of it. Because there are no checkpoints in ghost houses. Yeah. As they are as they are specifically puzzle levels, it, it is uh it doesn't make much design sense for there to be checkpoints in them. So So just do it in one go. Cut your losses, ignore the booze, and the limes. Mm. Yay, nice spin jump. Fart bubbles. Mm. You see, that's clearly not what they are, though, because if you if you actually watch how they interact with specific, with platforms and such, god, god damn, damn it, slippery it. controls. Yeah, if you sure. watch how they... How, no, that was definitely slippery controls. I'm, uh, and the fact that, uh, you know, Mario's controls are a tad different while he's, while he's wearing the cape feather. Um, but, as I was attempting to explain, if you actually watch how the uh, dimensional sphere... How the dimensional uh, bubbles work with uh, other objects, it's very clearly that they're shifting physical matter out, uh, out in, into, you know, a null zone. Well, I noticed that when they're going over platforms, that it, it, it they they seem to like block out the platform. Mm, well, that or consume them. No, they're just borrowing the space for a second. Okay, through the door again. No, I thought a boo was more like a Koopa. It turns out he's a shy guy. <laughs> no, thank you for that pun, Mr. Cloud. <laughs> oh, I see. So, they, yep, they fly over the platforms and the coins, and then they... But not on the parallax rolling background. Interesting. Okay, there's the switch. We need the switch in order to finish the ghost house. Okay, Stand now that we got the all threshold. the coins, there we go. Got it. Let's get the hell out of here. <laughs> Yay! Vanilla Dome Ghost House complete. That is one of the more difficult levels uh, for for me as a kid. As a kid, I was never able to actually complete Super Mario World. I would get stuck in Vanilla Dome constantly. Um, usually mm. on this particular segment between uh, the Vanilla, Vanilla Dome Ghost House and uh, Castle 3. This level, Vanilla Dome 3, is not actually all that bad, but we are introduced to Blargs! Hmm. Blarg! Looks like something... Yeah. Really? It's like something out of Donkey Kong Country, honestly. 
I was hoping to actually hit the other, uh, the other uh, power plant, but oh well. Because I would like this fire flower, dang it. All right, well, you, we will use the fire flower to destroy the piranha plant. Yes. Mwah. Nice dodge. A majority of the uh, coin blocks that you uh, that you end up um, uh, finding on these uh, on these gold platforms are just individual coins, so they're not usually worth it or uh, worth a uh, go uh, they're not usually worth a ris uh, risky uh, uh, obtained. But you know, if you can get them, they're nice to get. <laughs> Hidden block, nice. Cape feather. For the record, yes, the cape feather is better than uh, is better than the uh, fire flower. In most scenarios, in this scenario, not as much, but in most scenarios, it is. Great use of Koopa shell. Well, this is actually a Buzzy Beetle shell, but yeah. All right, the Buzzy Beetle shell. The Buzzy Beetle shell will grant an additional five units of defense onto the Buzzy Beetle. It's highly recommended that Paper Mario flips the Buzzy Beetle on the back in order to reduce their defense to zero. So how accurate is that for the Paper Mario games, Mr. Cloud? Everything except for the defense points value. It's either like five or... It's, a, it's, a, it's not infinite defense, and there are enemies in the game that have infinite defense. Just that the Buzzy Beetle, like you're basically going to deal zero damage to it if you do not take, if you do not flip it over. Right. Or you have an ability on your hammer or on your boots that causes you to ignore defense values. And there are a few of those, right? The, you, you're probably going to be using the hammer in order to ignore defense values. It's it's the pier, it's the piercing badge that lets you do that. Okay. Yay, a Yoshi! Yuck. Mm. Yay. All right. Now let's now Yoshi, let's get out of here. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, here he comes! Here he comes! Uh, yes, uh, as annotation mentions here, the uh, skull platforms would go on to inspire Bone Coaster, one of uh, Super Mario uh, World Wii's uh, most famous levels. And I'll be honest, I loved Bone Coaster on Wii. I think that this is, I think that this is honestly a relatively poor, a l relatively poor execution of this concept, specifically to how slow it is. But it also makes sense for where, for where it is in the game. Because you know hmm. we are we are still technically in the earlier worlds. Call me Sir Mario, riding on the back of my flying dragon. Hey, hey, hey! We do not have a flying dragon yet. We gotta have him meet a blue Koopa shell first. In thirty. Yay! All right, we'll do this bonus game, and then that will be the end of this part. Nice. So, you think we'll actually be at a record of four lives, Mr. Cloud? Oh, bonus time. Bonus, 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 bonus. Ah. Well, we tried. Yeah. We got one. Bleh. In the next episode, we will finish off Vanilla Dome. Be safe, everybody.